Japanese video game developer firm Square Enix Final Fantasy Storm Blood brings new update, with new missions, more prisons, and most famous villains. According to Square Enix, Rise of a New Sun update adds a new main scenario of the same title to the Storm Blood expansion. In the update, the recovery of Elamido is suddenly threatened by a great power from the Far East. The new gaming tech update also introduces a new side quest named the Jace Toll. Players will also get the Crystal Tower training grounds as a new map, along with a new team system and rules for player versus player modes. Rise of a New Sun Rise of a New Sun will also add Clamor Dressers, which will cover weapons, tools, and clothes into Clamors. The ability to build submersibles explores the depth of the ocean. The Rise of a New Sun trailer opens with a fight against the notorious Final Fantasy VI boss the Phantom Train, which implies the continuation of the Omega. Sigma Escape attack will include components from the SS Classic. The most thrilling part of the trailer is Kefka, the antagonist of Final Fantasy VI shows up. Kefka viewed as an antagonist in the Final Fantasy establishment. While, his basic presence in Rise of a New Sun is already get a huge deal for fans of the series. Gamers can try playing Kefka on the Dissidia Final Fantasy and the Open Beta, which will keep running until January 21st on the PlayStation 4. While, in March Square Enix plans to launch Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition, which includes all game season pass contents and new additions. But now, Square Enix upcoming Final Fantasy VII remake release is getting more excitement. For getting more details on the game will show off in an event in Tokyo next week.